All right, YouTube. So I was just watching this video from RT America. It's down below. Um, they were talking about Ryan Johnson. Uh, he's a film director. He directed the uh, the latest Star Wars film, and uh, he was uh, he also directed a couple of. Uh, Breaking Bad episodes, really good ones, by the way. Uh, Fly and uh, Ozzy Mondias was the other one. Uh, that was a great episode. Um, anyways, he uh, got a lot of you know uh, shit for his movie, the Star Wars movie. You know, a lot of people were uh, DMing him on Twitter and you know posting on his Twitter page or whatever. So he hired this guy to basically analyze um, about a thousand different. Uh, Twitter, excuse me, Twitter users, and um, he came to the conclusion that 50% of the uh, people were either trolls, Russian bots, or politically motivated, because a lot of people, I guess, criticizing the latest Star Wars films, found them to be, like, I don't know, laden with, like, SJW rhetoric and undertones and all that stuff, and I saw the, um, I saw the one that was directed by, uh, What's his name? J.J. Uh, Abrams, the one where, spoiler alert, uh, Han Solo gets killed. And um, that one came out in 2015, I believe. It, I don't remember. Anyways, I watched it. I was kind of watching out of boredom. and I didn't really get any, like, SJW vibes. I mean, I think people were like, oh, there's a token black, you know, there's a Star Wars guy, or excuse me, there's a Stormtrooper. But, um, I didn't have a problem with it. I just... I thought the movie was pretty crappy, you know, it was just, uh, you know, for me, Star Wars was just, it, it was, it was a good movie, it was, or it was a good series, rather, um, but towards the end, like, you know, with the first three movies, it really felt like they were just kind of going off in a really bad direction, you know, kind of just thinking about the money rather than the art, you know, which is always a bad thing when it comes to film. Uh, anyways, the, uh, the guy who, you know, I don't know if he, like, doxed him or anything, but basically, you know, calling 50% of these people, which is about, like, 500 people, all Russian bots because they didn't like the movie. And we're seeing this a lot. I mean, I don't understand. I mean, I guess I do understand why they're doing it. You know, it's part of the uh, campaign to demonize Russians and all them. And uh, anyways, that was a pretty good take. I'm going to end it on that. You should watch the videos down below. Um... But yeah, it's it's really funny. It's just all these, it's literally all these fake Jews spreading fake news. That's what it seems like. So um, just do my best to keep everybody aware. Because this one is like, this story is like, I thought like, how fucking desperate can you get? You made a shitty film and now you're blaming it on Russian bots. I mean, yeah, it, it's, it's the Cold War, excuse me, it's the Cold War era all over again. It's, um, you know, and I wasn't alive during, I was, you know, I was born in 1992. I wasn't alive during that period, but I can imagine this is what it was like, you know, all this Russophobia. By the way, if you, um, if you have the time, go uh, to YouTube, you're on YouTube right now, but go to, um, or type in rather, uh, Kids in the Hall Communism or uh, Kids in the Hall Russia. It's a comedy skit and there, it's a really funny show, by the way. And this skit was made, like, in maybe in the mid-90s, I believe, like, right after the fall of the Soviet Union. But the guy, I mean, he's, like, it's it's almost like it was uh, Stephen Colbert before Stephen Colbert decided to do that persona. And um, it's kind of like one of those instances of, uh, it's funny because it's true, because a lot of, you know, what he said, I don't want to spoil it. Anyways, it's a really funny video. So, guys, God bless. Thank you for watching. Smash that like button if you like the videos. Hit the sub button if you like these kinds of videos. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to do more like long format, but short format, you know, for some stories. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. And um, wherever you are, hope you're doing good. Peace out.